Good morning. Look, we, we, we are concerned that the club went ahead and appointed uh, a person who, after even knowing uh, about this, who is a, a racist, uh, who has made offensive remarks about black uh, people supporting this former club. We, we, we don't think that uh, a club in our professional league and a club that is financially supported by municipalities of our province should have an unrepentant racist. Uh, in, uh, as their head coach. We don't think the players of that club and the people who support that club and the people who work at that club should be working with an independent uh, racist. And we think football accountability measures have to kick in. Have you had any correspondence with the club itself with regards to the matter? We, we have not. And this is the key thing that we, we would like to raise. We, a club that is supported by government is independent of government, and they are free to, 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 to make decisions for their club. But the interest is that the club is in the Eastern Cape, the club is financially supported by government, and the club is in South Africa, and we should not in our country uh, that is founded on principles of non-racialism, on principles of human dignity, on principles of achieving equality and advancing human rights, for all the people of our country. We can't then have a club that appoints an unrepentant racist who spews offensive remarks aimed at black people. Have you noticed that all the, the, the races, they never associate other races. Uh, with, 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 they, they never call them monkeys. They only call black people monkeys or associate them with monkeys. That's very offensive and derogatory. We don't think a club that is in our country should have that that kind of a person as a head coach. Speaking of that uh, uh, funding that you touched on or the financial support that Chippa United enjoys from uh, the Eastern Cape government or the Nelson Mandela uh, Bay municipality, is that at risk at all? The club is, is a good uh, platform and a good brand for the Eastern Cape. And we would really appreciate uh, that the club continues uh, maintaining being a good brand and a good platform for us. And we have been talking to the club about further and additional relationships uh, around the marketing and positioning of the province. And we are watching this with keen interest. And like I'm saying to you, is that we, we are a constitutional institution as government. We support the values and principles in our constitution, and we don't support anything contradicting those uh, values and principles. And we will watch this thing with keen interest. We, we want to see what is going on. We are disappointed that the, 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 the chairman of the club, uh, Mr. Chipambengesi, uh, is, 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 is nothing wrong with this thing. I mean, judging by what he's been saying. This is nothing wrong with the racist and offensive remarks that were made by uh, Mr. Emmanuel. And we, we, we think really he should understand the pain that is caused by racism, him and the management and the leadership of the club. So, because we expected them to be in the forefront uh, of fighting racism and defending the dignity of the people that are, 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 were insulted by this uh, gentleman. Because if he can't, then he continues. What if he does the same thing to the fans of Chiba United and the people of our province? We have a responsibility to protect the dignity of those people. Anything that is contrary to, 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 to that constitutional responsibility and constitutional uh, principles and values mm. will not really be part of that. You released a statement and you made very clear your support of SAFA uh, in pursuing or taking it up with the Department of Home Affairs that he should not be granted a work permit. How far are you willing to take that in, in, in supporting the association? What, what, we, what we're saying to the leadership of football in this country, you have a responsibility to ensure these values of our constitution, these values and principles are the order of the day in football. And in each responsibility that we, from the PSL to, to SAFA, that they all have another structure within football, they need to make sure that accountability measures kick in. They know those measures themselves. We are expressing our concerns as government and we are saying to them, use your own accountability measures to decide on this matter. We can't prescribe what those measures are. 
We have a relationship uh, as, as the provincial government, the municipality, with the club. And we're calling on the club to take a decision that supports our constitution, that is in line with the principles and values of our constitution, and not to bring in an independent racist uh, uh, who use offensive remarks, who sees black people as monkeys, as their head coach. They, or even the club themselves, have to take those decisions independent of government. But they say, we can't have this. It's, it's, it's not a leader in our society. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Sikwecha.